Hi guys, Shane here with Wheeling Cameras, and today I'm looking at the Nikon FC. So guys, the first thing I'm gonna do here is put the stats up on the screen. You can see them there. Feel free to pause the video and have a read and check out if the internals of the camera are what you're looking for. For me, I'm gonna spend a lot of time talking about the externals of the camera because the big takeaway here is of course that retro vintage style. So for me, I love this vintage style. This camera is based on the Nikon FM2 from the 80s. It's got loads of knobs and dials, which I love. It's gonna help with that tactile feel and you build up a strong muscle memory when using it. There are extra shutter speed options. So just if you are doing any long shutter speed stuff, this camera can actually go all the way down to 900 seconds rather than the usual 30 seconds. And that's a really nice innovation to see coming out from Nikon. So this camera is based on the Nikon FM2 from the 80s and I really, really love this vintage style. If you're anyway into camera history, you'll know that this was ubiquitous way back in the 70s and 80s. Um, you might even have used a camera like this at one point. This for me is a great way to get that filmic look and filmic feel from a camera without actually having to go to the hassle of using film. It's all digital, it takes video, 4K 30, does all that kind of stuff. It has eye autofocus in the video mode as well. So all the bells and whistles that you're expecting from a modern mirrorless camera, but in a nice, funky package. The only thing is it doesn't have a built-in flash, which could be a disappointment for some entry-level users. However, it does of course take an external flash and it doesn't have that kind of a grip that we might be used to in a more modern camera because again, it's based on that funky old style. The other really nice thing is the articulating screen, which is a really big feature that a lot of people have been asking for in Nikon. And this is actually the first Z camera to have that articulating screen. I love an articulating screen, the ones that fully come out. It's great for being able to see what you're doing if you're doing any vlogging work or for showing a client if you wanna show them some photos. It's really nice just to move the screen. I do that all the time. Um, and yeah, I just think they should be on every camera, no matter what. The last little things to touch on here, it is really small, light and compact. It weighs absolutely nothing. The uh, lens is very, very compact. It does protrude once you put it into action, but that's not a problem at all. And then it just goes back again when you're done. So the kind of camera that you can bring with you, pop it in a bag, have it around your shoulder all day, not really feel the weight of it. Definitely something I'd be using for street photography, for hikes, that sort of a thing, an everyday camera, family events, like a lot of uses here for this camera. So if you've been growing a nice long beard during lockdown and you need a funky camera to go with it, check out the Nikon FC. 